Перший дні війни ми на фронті. Робимо свою справу чесно та з душею. 2-2-5. Рапів до раю не пускаю. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko is currently in a very difficult situation, Ukrainian military expert Mikhail Zirokov said on Radio NV. Putin demands from him for beginning military action, to pull back some troops to open another front, but he does not have enough leverage over Lukashenko. Lukashenko always blocks all pressure from Russia with the Mosier oil refinery. He always says that the oil refinery is within striking distance of Ukrainian weapons and this oil refinery is now one of the largest suppliers of gasoline for the Russian Federation, Zirokov said. He explained that gasoline is currently a strategically important resource for the Russian Federation which has become of short supply due to regular strikes by Ukrainian UAVs on Russian oil refineries, but he can't completely ignore Putin. All these statements, all this rattling of weapons with the transfer of 3, 4, 10 tanks, this is all for external and partly internal use, to show that something is being done, added Zirokov. Earlier, President of Belarus Alexander Lukashenko said that a Ukrainian UAV had violated the country's airspace. The dictator then decided to move his troops to the border with Ukraine. According to veteran of the Russian-Ukrainian war Alexei Getman, if the Belarusian ruler Alexander Lukashenko enters the war against Ukraine, his army will be defeated. But Ukraine will be able to attack enemy targets in the event of aggression without additional permissions. 
Lukashenko's statements about the Ukrainian threat are playing into Russia's hands, said Andriy Demchenko, the spokesman for the State Border Service of Ukraine, on air at the telethon, because they have repeatedly created some kind of threat blaming Ukraine. And then they talk about some kind of buildup of forces, then they remove these forces because they do not see a threat. This is another information impact. I do not rule out that within this framework they will be forced to move equipment, personnel. Perhaps not in large quantities, but in order to create a picture that this is happening, Demchenko said. He also added that such movements of military equipment in Belarus are not happening towards the border with Ukraine, but inside the country itself. So far, border guards have not recorded any buildup of Belarusian forces, neither equipment nor personnel. Considering that Belarus remains in the sphere of influence of the terrorist country Russia, this direction is threatening. We must be prepared for any situation, in any direction. And this is why Ukraine continues to take measures to strengthen both the borderline and the border area where the defense forces are located, Demchenko added.